Welcome to this brand new vlog. So you're probably wondering what camera am I recording on? This doesn't look like the Sony. It doesn't look like anything you guys are familiar with. This is on the Panasonic camcorder. So yeah, my mind's all over the place. Uh, obviously making up my mind on what cameras I want to use. And I decided, at least for now, that maybe I'm not giving this guy enough time. So what I actually want to do is I'm probably just going to use the Panasonic and the Canon VXS, both my primary cameras while keeping the Sony as a secondary, well just as a vlogging camera for now anyways. And I realized I haven't done a vlog on this camcorder yet and I used to do them a lot on the Vixia so let's give this guy a try, see how it looks. But today, we're going to Best Buy, which I almost never go there. I only went once last year for a job interview and afterwards they never even got back to me. But I was just kind of thinking about Best Buy the other day and I was like, dude, I honestly, it would honestly be so cool to visit. I think primarily the reason I want to go is just to check out the cameras because I know Best Buy has a pretty good camera selection. And who knows, I might see some other cool things too. I don't know, just to visit because I, I, I always wanted to go there. Now that I can finally drive, you know, I can drive myself to wherever the hell I want and today because I have the day off from work. We're going to Best Buy just to see what's up there, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So let's get going. I'm at my house right now, and I'm not going to vlog while I'm driving because that's uh, not safe. So let's go. But first, I'm going to Dollar Tree because I got to pick up some bubble wrap. Two ways in here. Huh? Panasonic batteries. It's funny. I'm using a Panasonic camera. I forgot how awkward it was to vlog in public. Especially with a camcorder because I've been using a point-and-shoot camera for the longest time now. Okay, so after searching the store for about five minutes, I found it. But this is pretty small. It's not going to be enough for what I need. They have some mailers too. Some of these are, these are kind of like the Amazon ones. But I think I have enough of those right now. I'll probably just go to the Walmart across from Best Buy to actually find the bubble wrap. Well, that was all awkwardness for nothing. Alright, on to Best Buy. I always hope probably at Best Buy I'm gonna feel less awkward vlogging because there's a bunch of cameras there so probably hopefully it won't be as awkward as it was here in Dollar Tree. And we're here and for some reason I still feel very uncomfortable with this camera but I think I'll be fine once I enter I hope. I take that back after coming in here. I don't feel at all awkward anymore seeing that there's nothing but technology in this place, man. Oh my god. I think this is better than Micro Center. I've been to Micro Center before. I think this is better. Hmm. Amazon Alexa. I think my dad actually wants to change uh, our Google Home into Alexa or an Amazon Echo. Or maybe, I don't know. He might want to take one to Mexico. Here's a 14 Pro. Hmm. Let's see. That's pretty good. For some reason, the refresh rate looks smoother than the one on my phone. The, for some reason, if we compare the two, that's the 13 Pro, by the way. I don't know, something about this one feels a lot smoother. Maybe because I'm used to it, or maybe they improved the refresh rate on the 14 Pro, I don't know. I see that dynamic island. How does it work? You just hold on it? See if, how does it, no, I, I don't know. My dad's the one with the 14 Pro. He has the Max, so he probably knows how that works. I think these might be what? Locks, touch to unlock, what happens? Yeah, these are just regular... Oh, <laughs> I did not expect that. Then there's over here these like doorbells with cameras. My aunt used to have some similar to this with an apartment. It wasn't like a ring doorbell cam, but it was like, like I think a smart key or something like that. You would unlock it, but it was cool. Then a lot of these are what, out of stock. No, there was probably just not a lot of them, I guess. What is this? Best security. Oh, this one even has one with like a keypad thingamajiggy or whatever. Yeah, that's nice. We're reaching the gaming setups here. What is this? Rocat. This is the true gaming headphones, not the ones I bought off of Five Below. All right, I'm gonna test these out. Oh, but I can't really yank on it. Okay, so sounds cool. It, it sounds good. The quality sounds good. Although, it was playing music and I didn't expect that. Who has RGB lights? This mouse is... Oh. Oh my god. Maybe I should get this mouse to replace my Logitech one. The one I have on my desk and then this keyboard. Oh, you don't really feel the it clicking too much. It's kind of small, actually. So, I'm going to get to the cameras last because I know that's what I mostly came here for. They have a home theater, too. Oh, this looks nice. We're going here to the MacBooks iPad, I'm not looking at iPads, I'm looking at the MacBooks, because my sister really wants one. He's, this is the Air, this might be the one with the M2 chip, let me see. Oh no, it's the M1 MacBook. I think this is the one with the M2 chip, because it has a little 
thing. I don't know. I haven't paid much attention to the MacBooks in a long time. Oh no, this is the newest one I think because it has the MagSafe charger. This one is huge. It's the Pro. I think it is. Then all here are all the colorful iMacs. Oh, this one is the one that doesn't have. Oh, doesn't even have a keyboard connected, so I can't really mess with it. And this. Did they peel off the mouse? What the hell happened here? It's nice to have this behind me. You feel like the the MacBook's so up close, but it looks cool. So I want to see what was behind it. Is this just a checkout? I guess. And here's some mics. This, this mic is so goddamn small. That's a Razer mic. Are these Razer headphones? Are all these Razer products? I have a Razer keyboard at home. Uh, the one I use for my TV. This is the Black Widow. Yeah, but this is the Black Widow Mini. It doesn't have a numpad. There's Microsoft stuff down there, or Windows things, but I don't know if I'm really that interested in that. I mean, unless there's gaming PCs, maybe I'll go come and take a look. Oh, well, we got a monitor that kind of curves. This is a 60 hertz monitor. I, when eventually, is this 60 hertz? It looks like 120 or 44. Oh, this is a cool keyboard. It actually feels nice. Cyber Power PC. I want to get a, a 144 hertz monitor whenever I move out and I get my own actual PC. Oh, it is 144 hertz. It says right here, $260. Eh, that's not too bad, I guess, considering it's curved. Eh, it actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, all these other products here are just basic cheap Windows laptops. Nothing really of my interest. Oh, here's the gaming stuff. Predator. I don't even know what's a brand. This is an RTX using Intel. Is that a 120 hertz display? Oh, that's so cool. You type it in and the keys light up with that little blue color. That's cool. I thought my laptop had something like that. I think it's just only with light. 165 hertz. Oh my god. That's like 100 more than what do you got here. You can do it. 82, 165. Oh my god, dude. That is actually sick. Phew, that price though. Damn. I mean, I bought mine for what, $700? Maybe this would have been better. I mean, it seems like it's a lot lighter. Oh, can I pick it up? Oh, a little. Oh, it's actually, it's smaller, but it's still, I think it weighs the same as my uh, Legion 5. Then there's this monstrosity, which this thing is huge. It's probably the same size as my laptop, but it has a 165 hertz screen. See how it looks. Oh my God, that is the smoothest PC screen or laptop screen I have ever seen. Oh, here's a Legion. A Lenovo one. It's this one, I think this one is also better refresh rates. It has pretty much the same layout as my PC, but this one actually has like the keyboard lights up with different colors instead of just white like mine. Here's MSI keyboards. Oh, this one, this one is super soft actually. Or it's not here, but these other keys they feel soft. This mouse looks nice. Then they have all the PCs here, Legion. And then they have oh. I saw this at Micro Center. This thing is so huge. Look how curved it is. Doesn't actually look cool though. Like just imagine, what's the refresh rate on this guy? I, I, oh, uh, it's, oh, that is super smooth. I think that is like probably 165 as well. 240 hertz, damn. But that is an expensive thing. That is an expensive monitor though. You have to be super rich to actually be able to afford this. All right, that's enough of the computers. Let's go check out the rest of the stuff. More gaming products are attracting me. Oh my God, dude. Oh, here's the same mic I have, but mine is in black. I like the white color though. It actually looks kind of sick and so does this mouse. ASMR, if you guys want some? If you guys want some keyboard ASMR, just tell me and I'll do it with my keyboard. No, no, I'm never gonna do ASMR. No, I, I hate it. Well, they have the MetaQuest. This is one of the best VR headsets on the market right now. Oh, you have the... These are the other controllers, too. So this is what you'd be swinging around when you're playing these freaking games. I heard they were going to release an Andreas on the Oculus, but that was back in 2021, so I don't know if they've done it yet. Ah, we've made it to the good old camera section. Let's take a look. It is so empty here, but as they were promoting the GoPros over here. And there are none in stock. Wow, oh, this that one only. But that's about it. This one, I think, is just for little Polaroids, thingy-majiggies or whatever. They have tripods here. This is so much similar to the one I used to have. Bunch of SD cards. I have like so many from one time I ordered it off uh, one pair of a 64 gigabyte SD card off of Amazon and they sent me like six. So now I have a bunch of spare SD cards for any time I need them. What's this one? I've never seen. This is a compact flash card. Does these exist? I didn't even know, man. Oh look, here's the battery that uh, my Sony vlogging camera uses. But it's $50 for just this one battery. Yeah, just buy the ones from Catstar. Oh, I thought all the camera stuff was over here. But here they have drones. This is all the drone stuff. Oh, here are some of the GoPros, I think. No, that's a light mod. 
here are more tripods from this other more called Joby. And then there's the 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 vlogging kits here, I guess that comes with like lights and that kind of stuff. I could use one though, because I feel like my room sometimes doesn't have enough lighting. I see the cameras, but before we go in there, this is the mic I have. Yeti Nano. What the frick? This one also this one just has a volume control, this one has a mute button too. And then you have the Logitech webcam and what is this supposed to be? Like a little light? Oh, that's cool. Oh, and it changes colors by itself. You can mess around with, oh, you push the button, see, so you mess around with the light? Or, no, not really, actually. All these wall mounts, I might replace my TV soon, because this mine has no remote. But here are all the cameras. Oh, well, there's no, none of the vlogging ones, but they have the Sony 4K camera. Oh, actually, no, they're up here. But here are the Sony, it's making a noise, Sony 4K cameras. These are all from Sony, Panasonic, Panasonic, and Sony. I thought this was my one, but the Panasonic one, but it looks kind of similar to it. And here are the vlogging cameras. Here's the SX740. Damn, this brings me back to when I had my SX730, but I sold it. Does it even... Oh. Oh. Well, this one turns on. I think it turns on, but there's nothing on the screen, so I think this thing is dead. And here's the power... Here's the G7X Mark II. This one actually... Is this... Oh, I think this one is lighter than the... SX740. Yeah, I think it is. It might be, but for some reason this thing isn't turning on. Maybe I have to toggle the modes. Yeah, this does not work. If I push these keys, yeah, this one doesn't work. But let's see the G7X. That one went on, but does it. Ah, there we go. Now this one does work. This one is the Mark II. The Mark III, actually, I hear that one kind of sucks. This one is touchscreen, which is actually pretty cool. I got to mess around with the settings. Dude, this camera is actually sick. I actually do notice significant better quality than the SX730. I do see the autofocus is a little bit slow, but it's not anywhere as bad as the Mark III. But hey, it actually works. And, oh, it just went off. One thing I did see, though, is when you go into slightly darker conditions, the lighting or the frame rate will maintain at 60. Hmm, maybe I might get this one. What do you guys think? Oh man, if only I had brought an SD card, I would have done like a little test shot. You guys could see me here. And actually, this looks pretty damn sick, dude. How much are they selling it for? Oh yeah, that is a lot of money. And here, here was where the Mark III is supposed to be, but it's missing. Then there's this guy, which is $399. I might just, I could probably find this for $400 on eBay. I know I said I'd keep the Sony for a while, but man, after seeing this guy right here, this thing is impressively good, man. And people still use this thing too, so that's pretty nice all around. One cool thing is you can actually extend the screen like that, which is super cool. Uh, but this thing actually doesn't have very good zoom, it only has like 4x, what actually probably isn't too much of a big deal. I'm messing around with the G7X more and I'm starting, I'm wanting to actually compare the two. They both look pretty good. I hate that this stupid thing keeps shutting off. They both look good. Damn, I actually, I really like this thing. I think this thing being touchscreen helps a lot too. Oh, yeah. This thing being touchscreen makes it so much more convenient compared to this guy right here. Maybe when I get my financial aid refund, maybe. Or on Black Friday or Christmas, I'll see what happens. But this is a cool camera. I'm definitely eyeing it for sure. I think that was the primary reason I wanted to come here, was to actually uh, mess around with the G7X. I think all the cameras, they have them in there, but like you can't, you can't even see what which are, which ones are in stock. Which that's actually pretty smart, actually. I guess, or I don't know. It's, it's kind of a good idea, maybe. I guess for people that want to ever think about breaking into this place, they can't see, but they also for, it's inconvenient for customers if they want to see if they have it or not. But uh, it's fine, I guess. Oh, why the hell are they selling that? That is. Disgusting. All the rest of this place is mainly TVs. They have fire TVs, like refrigerators and that kind of stuff, like a, like a furniture things. I'll go check that out as well. And what the hell is this? This is a kick scooter. <laughs> the design looks cool though, actually. Kind of like the, the yellow wheels. I don't know what this is supposed to be for. What is this, like a boosted board 2.0 or something like that? You know, actually speaking of boosted board, I might actually see if they have one here. I actually have always wanted a boosted board. And over here, in this area, we made it to the Nintendo aisle and they're showing off a trailer for Splatoon and they have one of the OLED switches in here, which is the switch I have now. And let's see, I have one of the, I bought a Switch OLED off Amazon and uh, yeah, spent too much money. But let's see what they got. They got a demo of Pikmin 4, which just came out. They have, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Okay, let's use the controller instead. They have Pikmin 4, Tears of the Kingdom. I wish this had a demo, dude, because actually, 
this this game seems so hyped, but I don't know for reasons. I played the demo for Pikmin 4. It's pretty fun, and I have the first Pikmin, and they have all these other games. Breath of the Wild has a demo. Ugh, disgusting. Animal Crossing New Horizons. You guys know how much I'm obsessed with that game. There's demos for Mario Bros. This. Mario Odyssey, which is cool. And then they got Mario Kart 8. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Oh, and they're selling a bit of merch here for... Mario Odyssey? No, wait, why did I say Mario Odyssey? Nintendo stuff here. I saw the Mario movie right there. They have the bombs, Kirby, a Bowser shell. Damn, these are huge, man. I'm not sure if this is the one right here that they're talking about for the Bowser thingy because I feel like they move these plushes around so much, so maybe it's not for that. Oh, I didn't even notice this arcade machine here. They got Pac Man. What happens if I just press start? Oh, is it gonna start? Who sticks just left the world? Yeah, I, I think this thing is broken. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think this thing is broken. I'm not sure. Let me try it. This thing is kind of wobbly, but I thought it was gonna be the original Pac-Man, but no, this thing is whack. Oh, you can actually ask to buy some. They have Miss Pac-Man, Galaxy Pac-Man Deluxe, things you can take home. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. But it's those prices. Yeah, dude, uh, I can't afford those. There's one thing Nintendo can do, right? It's make pretty cool looking controllers. Like here they even have, this is an original GameCube controller that they're selling. But this one is wired, it's on Bluetooth sadly. And they have the Split Pads Pro, which I hear a much better alternative to Joy-Cons. And then they have all this stuff. Oh, a lot of cool things here. The controllers, I like the, the Mario ones. And I like this guy actually looks really cool. Oh, no way. The transparent controller. Dude, if, if this if they, if they this better be half RGBs in it, bro. If it's transparent, it better be for that reason. Oh, I, think it, I think it does. Yeah, I think it actually does have RGBs. Oh, it's $54. I'll probably look on eBay, see if I can find it for cheaper. Here's PlayStation, and then there's Xbox stuff. But that's not really too interesting to me. I'm more of a Nintendo or a PC guy. Oh, speaking of PCs, they have one right here, right next to the freaking uh, Xbox. See what the tiny keyboard. Ooh, cool little headset. Oh, they have a dog here. Somebody brought a dog. Probably a service animal. I now I feel like I'm in Home Depot here with all the all the uh, furniture here. Dang, this is cool. I forgot. Someone in my family said they wanted to upgrade their washing machines, and now I'm thinking of that. I have microwaves all that i think that's supposed to be both a washer and a drying machine combined i am not sure i think it is oh wait what is this is this real you can take this with you this is yeah this is a real thing you can actually oh that's sick dude oh dude if only apple can make one of their own or i don't know if this is convenient with or if it's compatible with iphone i'm gonna guess yes but also no oh oh it's like a whole interface you can get apps on here too damn Maybe when I move out, I'll, I'll think about buying this one. So that's a Mono number. I gotta memorize that and memorize that. My wallet's gonna hate me if I do buy this. Ooh. The oven with the, like, clock. Like, oh. Oh, and these lights turn on, too. That's pretty sick, actually. I, I would get something like this. Or actually, matter of fact, this is something my aunt would get for her home. Which I actually told my sister the other day. Whenever I move out in a few years, I'm gonna have my aunt help me design my house. Because uh, she, she designed her house pretty good. So I want to see if she can help me out here, too when the time comes okay i think i have already checked out a good most of these places most of these other stuff here are just tvs which i don't really need okay i think i have already checked out a good most of these places most of these other stuff here are just tvs which i don't really need and i know i said i was probably gonna swap tvs soon but we have a spare one and that one actually works for the remote so i don't really need that but there's one more place i want to go to before i go home and that is the home theater. Let's see. I, do you have to pay to get in? I, I, I'm not sure, honestly. But uh, let's, let's see what it looks like in here. Oh my god. With the dim lights, it looks so cool. You have all this stuff playing. There's a studio in there. What's that supposed to be? I don't know. Are we allowed to go in there? I'm not sure. Oh, dude. This gives it a really nice atmosphere. Welcome to Magnolia. That is the name of the studio. Or the little home theater, not studio. Hmm. Nice. Pretty nice all around. I don't know what all this is supposed to be, HDMI cable, something like that, more headphones, cool. I don't know if we're allowed to go in there or not, if it, you have to reserve it, I'm not entirely sure, I've never really been here, if any of you guys know, tell me next time, but uh, that looks pretty sick actually. Let's take one look at these couches, see how comfortable they are right here. 
Ah, they're okay. Not the most comfy thing around and I'm seeing they are showing, they were just showing a violin take on the TV. See if I'll wait again and see them to play it again. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a while before they show that again, so I'm just, I'm probably just gonna go, but uh, this is a pretty cool place actually. It's best by a much, you know, calmer atmosphere compared to like out here what you got. Okay, I can't help myself. I wanna, what is this supposed to be? It's a gamble stabilizer. Oh, I seen this in the uh, Phone Impaired Gurus videos. He has one of these. It's cool actually, but oh my God, just for that, really? Damn. Uh, back to what I was saying, I can't help myself, but I wanna mess around with the G7X some more and see if I can get this thing to power on again. I think, I think this one just don't work. For snapping, oh, it's snapping something. Uh, maybe the screen just doesn't work, I'm not sure. If I compare which is heavier, okay. Uh, I, I feel like the G7X is slightly lighter, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna mess with this thing uh, a little bit more. Still can't get over how cool this actually looks and how good the quality is. Yeah, looks nice. If only I had my stone, I would have actually done a true comparison. Maybe next time I'll, I'll see what it's like. Oh, how did I miss these? The mirrorless cameras. There's all. These are all Sony, I think. Yeah, Sony, 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 Sony. I don't know where they have all the Canon ones. I think those were over here. Let me come back and take a look. Yeah, yeah, all the Canon stuff is right here. Which is this? This is a T7. It's practically the same as a T6, except it has 60 FPS. Not a bad price. Then there's a T8i, which is $900. Dang. Yeah, I couldn't, whoops, I kicked that on accident. Couldn't get this thing to work, but uh, once, I, once I start looking at the two, it does remind me a lot of my SX730, but I think the G7X, Oh no, the Space Gray on the SX730 look cool, but this one has a really a clean material. Pretty cool all around. I think it might actually serve me better. I might look into getting this one, maybe eventually. Have a good one. Thank you. All right, and that concludes our trip. I'll talk more in the car. All right, so that was my first time actually in Best Buy, actually looking around for a long time, you know, checking around all the stuff, because last time I was here was for my job interview, but I was, I was here with my dad, so once I finished my little interview, we just left after work, so I didn't really get to see what was here, but uh, I'm honestly really impressed by how cool this store looks. Actually, matter of fact, I didn't even get my thumbnail shot. I should probably do that, but uh, I'm in the parking lot, so I'm probably just gonna do that with my phone or something. Okay, let's get the thumbnail shot. Okay, people are looking at me, so I, I was about I'm, I'm getting out of here now. There's another Best Buy in Louisville. Uh, it's kind of close, also close to where I live. But I think this one's closer just because it's also really close to my college as well, like two minutes. Uh, but uh, I got to take my sister here one day. Dude. She's going to love this place, especially the home theater and all the, you know, all the vibe around it. It's so calm and quiet compared to like Target and Walmart. And a lot of the employees were coming by asking me like, hey, you need any help? And I was like, no, I'm just looking around. They're really friendly, dude. I feel like if I, I probably would have had a good time working here if they actually did hire me. I don't know. Uh, it is what it is, I guess, but uh, all the people are nice. They didn't really question my camera. I think they knew what I was up to, but they were okay with it because uh, it's all electronic store, so they really don't give a damn. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for this vlog. I'm just going to head to Walmart just to grab the bubble wrap, but I'm not going to vlog there because uh, it's going to be awkward. I felt so awkward at Dollar Tree, but here I actually felt fine. Uh, next time I come here, I might just bring my Sony just to see uh, the true comparison between that and the Canon G7X. I feel like I probably should have brought my Sony, but it's whatever. Alright guys, so that's going to be it for this vlog. So first vlog with the Panasonic might be the only vlog too, just because now I have a long camera. I just wanted to see how the quality of this would hold up in vlogging, and it, it did pretty good. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.